friends and welcome to this tutorial on manipulating strings at the end of this tutorial you will be able to slice strings and get substrings out of them then reverse strings replace characters in strings then convert strings to upper and lower case join a list of strings before beginning this tutorial we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with strings then getting started with list and basic data type and operator let us invoke our ipython interpreter so type ipython in the command let us consider a simple problem and learn how to slice strings and get substrings let's say the variable week has a list of names of days of the week that is week is equal to within square bracket in double quote sunday sun then comma m o n for monday then tuesday for t u e then wednesday thursday friday and saturday let us consider a simple problem so now given a string s we should be able to check if the string is a valid name of a day of the week or not let us define our string as saturday so type in double quotes saturday s is equal to saturday s could be in any of the forms that is s a t saturday then s capital a t then capital s saturday then s a t the entire word in capital then the whole saturday in capital letter for now we shall be solving the problem only for the form small s a t and small saturday we shall solve it for the other form at the end of this tutorial so we need to check if the first three characters of the given string exist in the variable week as with any of the sequences data types strings can be sliced into substrings to get the first three characters of s we say s in closing bracket square bracket 0 colon 3 and hit enter note that we are slicing the string from the index 0 to index 3 3 not included as we already know the last element of the string can be accessed using s closing bracket minus 1 So pause the video here and try out the following exercise. And listen to the video. So, obtain the substring in excluding the first and last characters from the string S. So now switch to terminal for solution. Type S in square brackets one colon minus one and hit enter. We get the substring. of s without the first and the last characters of the s now let us check if the particular substring is present in the variable week we shall check for that s a t so type s in square bracket colon 3 and hit enter then s colon 3 in week we get the result as true let us now consider the problem of finding out if a given string is palindromic or not first of all a palindromic string is a string that remains same even when it has been reversed let the string given be malayalam so s1 is equal to malayalam the malayalam should be in double quotes now we need to compare the string with its reverse again we will use the technique common to all sequence data types that is within square brackets colon colon minus 1 so we obtain the reverse of s by simply saying s1 
and within square bracket colon colon minus one and hit enter now to check the string is s is palindromic we say s1 is equal to is equal to s1 in square bracket colon colon minus one as expected we get true now if the string we are given is Malayalam instead of Malayalam the above comparison would return a false so we will have to convert the string to a lower uppercase lowercase or all to uppercase before comparing Python provides method s dot lower and s dot upper to achieve this let's try this out so type s1 is equal to Malayalam in double quotes where m is capital then s1 dot upper then closing bracket then s1 will give you the output ok so as you can see s has not changed it is because upper returns a new string it doesn't change the original string similarly type s1 dot lower then closing bracket then s1 dot lower closing bracket is equal to is equal to s1 dot lower closing bracket within square brackets colon colon minus 1 enter so pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video check if s is a valid name of the day of the week